Hi there! My name is Anna, welcome to this MCSI video. In this video we will discuss both why and how you should rate the risk of security vulnerabilities. Let's start by discussing why it's important to rate the risk of vulnerabilities. It will help an organization understand whether an attacker is likely to find and exploit the vulnerability. It will also describe the impact of the vulnerability if it is exploited. Your risk ratings will help the organization decide what they need to fix and when they need to fix it. Imagine that you've discovered a vulnerability. We would need to communicate whether an attacker could discover and exploit it. The industry calls this the likelihood. Here are example of questions to help you determine the likelihood. Is the vulnerability known to the general public? Is it exposed to the internet? How easy was it to exploit the vulnerability? Did you need to create the exploit or did you find one on the internet? Did you need credentials to find the vulnerability? How easy is it to create an account? It's paramount to rate the likelihood properly. If we overrate it, then an organization may fix a vulnerability that is not important. If we underrate it, then they may accept the risk of a finding that is very dangerous. You should also rate the impact of the vulnerability. Some key ideas to keep in mind are What kind of damage can the vulnerability cause? How many systems are affected? Are those systems critical? Is sensitive data exposed? How much would it cost the business to pay to recover from a breach caused by this vulnerability? These are all examples of dimensions to consider. It's important to get the impact right. Otherwise, the business won't understand why you've rated a vulnerability high risk. This will likely lead to them not fixing it. Properly rating the risk of vulnerabilities gets people on the same page. It makes them understand why a finding is important, why it's worth time and effort fixing. Do not underestimate the importance of articulating the impact well. Once you have rated the likelihood and the impact, you can deduce the overall risk. Risks are usually rated as critical, high, medium, and low. You will want to follow a risk matrix. Add your impact to one axis and the likelihood to the other. Use the cross section of each to identify the risk rating. Try creating a simple risk matrix as a training exercise. You can do this in a spreadsheet. You can then use your risk matrix in a penetration testing report later in your career. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!